it's a quick review on immunopathology number one we have hypersensitivity number two is iron immunity and number three it's immunodeficiency hypersensitivity it's our own body becomes sensitive against allergies number one you get attacked once with the antigen the second time you get attacked your body recognizes it already and becomes really sensitive Iroimmunity is your body's self antigens are being attacked you attack yourself because your immune system have a problem that is immunopathology number three it's immunodeficiency which is one or more component of our immune system it is not functioning right so either our body is going crazy which is hypersensitivity for no reason or our immune system is attacking itself it's like you take a knife and you start stabbing yourself which is crazy or immunodeficiency or that is like the opposite of hypersensitivity one or more component of your immune system is weak let's talk about number one hypersensitivity it has certain classifications you have class A or class 1 2 and 3 and 4 class 1 it's immediate hypersensitivity immediate hypersensitivity I put an E on the word immediate because we use an antibody IgE as well so it helps you remember that uh, immunoglobulin E it's what's involved in immediate hypersensitivity against allergic reactions normally speaking our body react to allergies via certain maneuvers one of them is using mast cells mast cells also is associated with basophils basophils tells the mast cells okay it's time to secrete histamines histamines makes our vessels dilate and our white blood cells drive through the highways of vessels to go and attack whatever foreign object or antigens or disease that is killing our body but in this case it could be a dust it could be nothing but our body is going crazy for no reason that's why it's called hypersensitivity class 2 it's going to talk about antibody dependent cytotoxicity which means that it has to do with cytotoxicity class 2 it's about the dependent of antibodies that make the situation toxic those antibodies are GM IgM and IgG if you ever hear nowadays about the recall against GM cars because they're so toxic you don't want to be driving a GM right now so GM is toxic cytotoxicity antibodies dependent cytotoxicity has to do with IgM and IgG cells that are involved is natural natural killer cells this happens when we have a tr blood transfusion or one person is donating an organ to another person and in the situation of the transplant rejection so either transplant rejection or transfusion of blood we could get into cytotoxicity and the body goes crazy for not recognizing the right um, antigens and secretes these GM uh, um, anti immunoglobulins number three type is immune complex reaction immune complex reaction is involved with IgM IgA and IgG MAJ cells that are involved in the immune complex reactions are neutrophilus diseases that you might come across serum sickness and rum, uh, rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid arthritis and serum sickness number four is delayed hypersensitivity is associated with poison ivy sensitivity if you come across a plant poison ivy it has certain things 
chemicals that if you touch your skin you can become very sensitive against it this is called delayed sensitivity however it does not involve any antibodies so we don't have to worry about antibodies in this situation I want to go back to class 2 antibody dependent cytotoxicity you have an antibody attached to the target cell antigens and we wanted to mention that complement proteins are also involved with the GM cytotoxicity situation and this will lead to a destruction of your cells. Thank you and stay tuned to another video.